Man, it, it's funny how gaming is uh, seeming to go through some of what we've seen. And um, look, it is the biggest industry. Let's just say that. So, of course, it was inevitable that it was going to. Uh, we saw these more obscure. I don't want to say obscure, but they are smaller in comparison, or pale in comparison, like comic books. And you, you felt that they were going to get the same treatment uh, eventually, mainly because our ideologues are. <clears throat> I think it's a combination of two different things for me. You have ideologues that, yeah, they look at things and they say, what's the popular thing? I want to gravitate towards that popular thing. And I want to then make it about myself. And oftentimes, yeah, it, it comes with like properties that you've known and love. Sometimes it's just, you know, it could be even new. Something that is high budget that is going to be in your face that people at least give the time of day because it looks good. With gaming being the biggest or largest like industry, entertainment industry, right? It's not movies anymore. It, it, oh, it's no, no. It's three times bigger than movies. Exactly. Yeah, of course, they was going to be attractive to those types. It was inevitable. Uh, we all knew that that was going to happen. And when you have a combination of people that, well, the folks that are in control um, don't have any nutsack, right? It's not like they're going to sit there and you, just, and you talk about the sweet babies and the, uh, the <laughs> of the world. Like, it's it's funny, like the owners, stakeholders, whoever, um, shareholders, people that got some skin in the game or the majority uh, stakeholders, that is, have some sort of skin in the game. They it's almost it's not even that they like, hey, they infiltrate. It's almost like they invite these guys. And we saw this with the whole D.I.E. thing where it's like, I will bring you into my company to put forth fake programs. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. our company, so we can be better, right? and we can get we can give you money for that. Yeah, we'll pay you. For, we'll pay you for it, right? We'll pay you for it. So it's a combination of ownership and a, as well as leadership getting cooked, right, and inviting this this nonsense into their fold. And it's sort of in, and like they are, they they are locusts at the end of the day. Um, and it seems like they've infected everything, right? And from the AAA experience, let me at least say that. Sure. People that are gaming out there are finding these sort of independent um, like uh, institutions because I guess the means have been sort of decentralized there. You're starting to see a lot of people utilize these engines and come up with some pretty decent sort of games, um, but they're just not at the AAA level. It seems like the people that got all the all the bread to seemingly make something uh, that is worth a damn they're focused on the wrong things. I mean, I remember watching that Indiana Jones thing. I think one one, th one thing that you failed to mention about a uh, weirdo with his haircut and um and his and his flag mm. was that he you know he mentioned that you know it was our chance to make Indiana Jones for the modern audience, modern Mo modern gamer, gaming yeah, audience, modern gaming audience. Now, if you wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt, you're like, well, maybe he means X, Y, and Z. But when you consider no, his he, role, he means. Exactly what he's wearing on his fucking t-shirt. He means the fucking disaster, and I'm fucking bald. <laughs> the disaster that is his his hair. He's talking about the fucking his uh his banner of 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 awards which he won, uh you know during the uh, the great Pride uh, festival of 2023. That's what he's talking. That's that's who a modern gaming audience is. That's what it it's, is. It's a small segment of them. And understand what his role is, right? His, his role is is like Game. some narrative, senior narrative, or it's like that's what he's specifically over, right? The story aspect of it. So one can come to the conclusion, and yeah, we won't ever know until it actually comes out, um, that yeah, he, he's talking about what it is that we've been discussing this entire time. And that's this, this the goofy shit, right? And it's like, bro, me, I'm on the outside looking in, um, oh, hell, I'm looking at economic opportunities. I'm like, man, how how many comics do I got to sell to get in the game, right, and, 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 and do the same damn thing that we've done in comics uh, in, in gaming and give people something it is to be enthusiastic about, which is decent, fun experiences without all the bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, that, that seems to be just what the general audience uh, of gamers want but this is what this is my opinion on it and you know you can of course chime in for me i, I believe that these guys 
they have I, let me say this my just like comics right where i've had i bitched and moaned about yeah the the stuff that has been in it and it what it did extend beyond just what was simply uh, uh like social justice and all that i had issues with continuity stuff sure. same thing can be said with with gaming for me right um my issues have been the dumbed down experiences of of a lot of these more triple a games okay um i don't like them uh, I've talked about the hand holding, the dumbing things down, and it seems that the appeal is to the lowest common denominator, right? Gaming and I, journalists. Yes, and 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 understand, and we haven't. I'm, I'm glad we're talking about it now because you and I haven't had a chance to even entertain that. That's one of the things that people watch me back in the gap when I would really was really playing and covering games. That's what I would talk about all the time. I'd be like, look, you know. It doesn't make for a, in my honest opinion, a better experience just because a game can be accessible. And I'm not talking about like colorblind. Sure, setting, sure. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, accessible to, to as many people as possible. Right. No, it makes I, it worse. 